Now, this seems attractive to a lot of people. And it is, it's, it's attractive, but it's some drawbacks. With the covered call, the traditional covered call, you don't have any time constraints. You don't have any time constraints. Technically, you can hold those shares into perpetuity. But in this example, if the stock falls a lot, Let's talk about the poor man's covered call. And I'm gonna start off by going over something we were talking about last night, and that's the traditional covered call. So when you're doing a covered call, a traditional covered call, not a poor man's covered call, you have 100 shares. 100 shares represents a standard lot in Wall Street terminology. And so you have that 100 shares, and then what you do is you sell a call against it right so you can sell one call you can sell one call for every 100 shares that you have because a call represents 100 shares or one option represents 100 shares so when you are doing a covered call you have the 100 shares and you're selling you're selling a call similar to like this if you were doing the call naked then you would have technically unlimited risk to the upside. So as you can see down here, I'm showing that we're selling this call at the 105 on win here, and the max potential loss is not defined. It's, it's unlimited because te technically the stock can go up into perpetuity. It's not, but it, it technically can, right? It's not defined. If you're going to do this, this is called a naked call. And as a seller of a call, you have the obligation to provide the shares to the buyer. You have an obligation to buy, to buy the shares. And you, when you're selling something naked, you don't have the shares. So what happens if you, have to, if you have to meet that obligation, then you have to go into the open market, buy the shares, and then deliver them to the buyer. And so that all happens through the platform. It's, it's instantaneous, but you, you need the monies to be able to obviously buy the, the, the shares. So that's what that's what's happening if you are selling a a a naked call, right? Is you have an obligation to provide shares to someone, so you have to go to the open market, get the shares, and then provide it to them. If you don't have the monies to do that, that's when you get the margin call, and 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 the the, the broker's firm liquidates your liquidates your position and things like that. But because you have the hundred shares, it's called covered, so you can. You can provide the shares to the buyer if they decide to exercise their right. And because you you have the shares, you're covered, you have the obligation, you have the monies to take care of the obligation, the potential obligation. So when you're doing a traditional covered call, if we did this here, and I say we did it with 32 days ago, you can see that the the amount you can potentially lose is nine thousand eight hundred seventy five right? that's the that's your cost basis there you have risk all the way to zero and that's the amount you can potentially lose if you're doing this in the ira this is how much money you have to put up to do it right if you're doing it in a margin account a regular t or regulation t margin account this is how much you have to put up four thousand eight hundred to to do it and and so it's a, it's a it's an expensive strategy and this is a hundred dollars a share stock basically if you were doing something higher than that then it'd be even more expensive so this is where the poor man's covered call comes in and that's when you just use options to try to do a synthetic type of covered call process and how you do that is similar to like this so let's just say you decided that you were going to you were going to buy a call and just go out 67 days you're going to buy a call at the 105 right this right here represents your hundred shares you're buying this call this represents once again the hundred shares as if you were doing as if you had a hundred shares in your account like the covered call right the traditional cover call but instead of paying ten thousand or almost ten thousand dollars to control a hundred shares you are paying four hundred and forty five dollars right that's the most you have to pay at this point 
then what you do is that you can sell a call in the front month that's the back month you can sell a call in the front month so that's 67 days so let's say you decided you're going to sell a call with 32 days to go well as long as you sell that call at the 105 or higher then it's going to be it's going to be covered so in this example here i'm going to sell this i'm going to sell the 110 so if i sell this 110 you're not the tasty trade platform is not going to be able to tell you your probabilities and your max potential loss and so forth because you got these in different expiration periods but you can see that it's saying you only have to put up 315 dollars and then you have to do the math yourself this is how you have to know the basics everyone you have to know the basics so if i bought a call at the 105 right if i bought the call at the 105 and let's just say my call spaces is three dollars right now it's saying 315 that's how much we're paying 315 but i just say it's three dollars okay just for easy math i bought the call with 67 days ago as you can see down here at the 105 i'm selling the 110 with 32 days to go so if it jumps up to the 110 that from 105 to 110 that's five points so five times 100 equals 500 dollars right that's how much you can make minus the amount you paid so minus 300 so the most you can make on this trade is 200 dollars if you do the math yourself because it's in two different expiration periods and, and, and Tasty Trade doesn't know when you're going to take it off, they don't give you your all your statistics here on this, but you have to know the statistics yourself in this example. But you just controlled 100 shares doing a cover call for significantly cheaper. The most you pay in this example that we're showing is $300. You can make up to $200 if the stock jumps up to 110 and stays above that at expiration. So because you have the right to buy at 105, this is covered. Because you have the right to buy at 105, you have the obligation to sell at 110. So if you sell something at 110 and then have the obligation to buy at 105, I mean, excuse me, the right to buy at 105, then that's a five point difference. So you can make 500 there, but you originally paid 300, so you have to subtract that. That's how, that's why, that's how you get to that $200 here. Now, this seems attractive to a lot of people. And it is, it's, it's attractive, but it's some drawbacks. With the covered call, the traditional covered call, you don't have any time constraints. You don't have any time constraints. Technically, you can hold those shares into perpetuity. But in this example, if the stock falls a lot, then you're going to have a, a very small probability of getting the $300 back. But that's, but the, but the, the once again, the trade off is that you're only paying $300. You're not paying thousands. You're not paying 10,000 in this example, or almost 10,000. You're only paying $300. So, but each option has time decay going against it. The one you bought for 67 days and the one you sold has time decay on it but time decay is actually for this one you sold is helping you the for one you bought which is the bigger one the more meat to this trade has you know time decay against it and so you need it to go up and if it doesn't go up in them in a at least at least two dollars worth up then you're going to you're going to lose you break even once it goes excuse me once or three dollars because you pay three dollars so once it goes up three dollars you break even so you need it to go from 100, excuse me, 105 to 108 before you break even. Because you bought at the 105 with 67 days ago, you sold at the 110 with 32 days ago. It costs you $3. So if you take the, the 105, you add $3 to it, that's 108. You need, to, you need it to be trading at at least 108 at expiration to break even. If it's not, then you lose, you, you lose on the trade. You might not lose the entire 300, but you're going to lose on the trade. Now, Brian, can you just, if let's assume the stock does go up to 110, can you just sell out of your positions and get out? Absolutely. Of it? You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. Just like with a covered call or just like any option strategy, you don't have to wait until expiration. 
if it jumps up and you got a you got a profit that you like, you can ring the register. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So none no option strategy. You have to. Well, I shouldn't say no, but at the ones we teach, you don't have to wait to expiration to get out of the trade. All right, so this is just wanted to go over this quickly. Any questions before we move on? Yes, O'Brien. Yes. Uh, when you wanted to close this for a profit, mm -hmm. uh, would you get out of the front month first and then the back month? If or, or will, will Tasty Trade allow you to get it get out of both at the same time? They'll allow you to get out of both at the same time for trading options on stock. So you would get out of it at the same time. That's how I would do it because it's gonna re, you're gonna you're gonna see the ref, reflection in this area here. You're gonna see how much you're up and down for the whole position. Let's say we were doing it on win, you'd have the win stock here, and you'll see how much you're up or down. And so the, I would I would get out of it as as one. But the 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 good thing is is that if the trade if the stock if the stock expires below 110 in the next 32 days, you still have more than 32 days for the for the for the other option before it expires so you can sell another call against it right you can sell another call against that 67 day one and that can lower your call spaces so instead of it being originally three dollars if you have to sell if you can sell that call again as you say and you collect some more maybe you get that call spaces down to two dollars or something like that or even less so just like you would with a with the traditional covered call is that you have a call spaces and every time you sell something, you're lowering that call spaces. So it's the same kind of concept with the poor man's covered call. So if you wanted to do something like this further out, it's going to cost you more. And so let's just say, let's just, let's go to, let's go to Apple, for example. Right, so let's, let's go to Apple and let's just say you went out 340 days and you decide that you want to do a covered call. A poor man's cover call and so you buy let's say you buy the 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 175 because it's, it's a longer longer term and then you decide okay that's going to cost you two thousand if we were going to buy the shares of 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 apple right now as i say at the going price of 174 68 it's going to it's going to cost us over seventeen thousand almost seventeen thousand five hundred dollars so if I buy this call though at the 175, it's going to cost me 2,000 basically. Then what I would do is go and I just say I decided that I'm going to go 32 days out. That's almost a year. I'm going to go for a month. So I go 32 days out and I decide that I'm going to I'm going to sell I'm going to sell the 190 strike. I just I just for example purposes. And so now my call space is, is going to be 1900. And if it goes from 175 to 190, that's another $1,500, right? So I still don't win in this example because of how much I paid. I still don't win on this trade, even if it goes from one in 32 days goes from 175 to 190 because how much I paid for it. So it's 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 pretty expensive a year out. People most people are expecting it to be, you know, higher than 175. So it's a little more expensive for for you to win, you need it to be 19 points higher at expiration than where that strike price is. So your strike price is does it say 175, right? That's the one you bought with 340 days ago. So plus 19 would be 194 so you need it to be four points higher than where this would happen in the next 32 days but the odds on it it going up to 130 is, is expiring it's gonna be 190 and expiring above that it's not very high it's 15 percent expiring above that in the next 32 days so then you just sell another call and then you keep repeating the process until your shares are taken away but keep in mind your call spaces, if you did what I just said, your original call spaces is how much you paid to originally set up the trade, to initiate the trade. In this example, it would be about $1,900.